Alrighty folks, welcome back to another Kitchen Table War Gaming Battle Report. Today we are going to have the Drakari facing off against the Harlequins. So we have the Dark Kin against the Laughing Kin. Uh, uh, we'll see what ends up happening. Um, this should be a very fun game. Uh, we'll go over the lists in just a second and then we'll get on with deployment. And you should have a lot of fun with this game. Unless, of course, you're rooting for somebody that's not appearing. But as long as you're an Eldari fan, it'll be great. Yeah, we'll be back in a minute. Haha. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here before you is a lovely little Harlequin list. We've uh, faced off once against this list, except we forgot a couple rules, so should be glad you didn't see that game. Um, that was a fun game that we played, and it didn't go as well for the Harlequins as it did for us, Drakari. So we have, uh, is it three squads of three bikes? Or four squads of four Four bikes. squads of three. Two four squads two. of three. And then there's two squads that are just two bikes in here, All right? Um, that'll be more obvious when they're actually deployed. There are a total of three Star Weavers. And these are just basic kit. And you've got four squads of troop. Um, there's a mixture of kisses and embraces, right? Like two, one is uh, one. Two kisses, or two sorry. caresses, yes. and one of blades. Yes. And they are as they appear. So, I mean, yes. if you're familiar with Harlequins, you can look at them and say, oh, I know what those are. And there's a whole bunch of characters over here. Yep. Um, um, I know that guy's the Death Jester yep. with his crazy gun. Yep. This one, I don't remember. That is my custom solitaire. Ah, the custom solitaire. Yes. yes. This is the Shadow Seer. Mm -hmm. This is a troop master and a troop master. Yep. This one is the Twilight Fan guy. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, yes, yes. yes this one. Sorry, you got the, the, the green yes. sword, yeah. Um, and then walk me through. I don't remember who your warlord is. Well, luckily, he's my warlord. Oh, well, there you yeah. have it. Uh, yeah. For warlord trait, he has Luck and Laughing God, so he rerolls oh, oh. hits, wounds, and damage rolls of one. Excellent. Excellent. I and think he just needs to die. <laughs> yeah, that's what I always think. Yeah. I'm spending a couple extra points for extra relics. Uh, for the Death Duster, he does have, uh, I think it's Chigarath's Lament. Mm -hmm. Or no, Curtainfall. Curtainfall, sorry. Oh, yeah, Curtainfall. Yeah. yeah. That's a specific one for my faction, which is the uh, the Dream Shadow. Yeah, these guys, the cool, see, the rule that we totally forgot in our last game was when they die, is it on a 4 plus? On a 4 up, they can either shoot either or shoot do or a hit. single attack. Right. And seeing how, what, all of them have fusion pistols? Or almost all of them? Almost all of them do. Uh, three of the blades do not. Yeah, but most of them are fusion pistols. So you see the problem here. You get them into combat, you kill one, then they stand up and shoot you with a fusion pistol. It's kind of unfortunate. And we forgot about it. We were busy doing all the other stuff, and we forgot that until halfway through turn three. And by then, it was a little bit late. So, yeah, we're not forgetting that today. Yep. Um, all right, so there we have it. This is 2,000 points. It is going to be a fun time. I'm going to be playing this against my Drukari, which you'll see in just a second. Here are the Drukari that I brought today. So I've been playing with this list, having some fun with it. It's still pretty much the competitive list that I had the other day. Um, but I've dropped a few things, added a few things, or I should say this is the Coven list that I ran. So I'm at four Raiders. I have two Ravagers with a triple Disintegrator Cannons. Um, they're running around with the Archon, who is now going to be Obsidian Rose. Uh, he still has Ancient Evil, and he still has a Husk Blade and a Blast Pistol. Um, but no extra Warlord traits other than, or uh, Relics other than Ancient Evil. Then there's two squads of Cabalite Warriors, a Blaster in each squad, um, and two squads of Incubi. And that is the Obsidian Rose, so they get the reroll of Wound and um, once per unit, and then they get the extra six inches of range. Could be handy. Then I have my homunculus over here. He's going to be Prophets of Flesh. He has the Vexator Mask, because why not? He has Twisted Animator, so he can bring back D3 racks every turn. He's rolling around with a squad of five Homoxites and a squad of five racks, as well as four Grotesques that are the Choppy Choppy kind, and three Grotesques with the Liquifiers. So they're cruising around in their own little detachment there. Um, with the nifty little regen of wound for grotesque and characters every turn, and uh, weapons that are not strength 8, only wound them on 4s. Kind of fun when I finally remember it. Then I've got the last patrol is my succubus. She's the warlord. She is um, precision blows, razor flails, dark lotus toxin, and combat drug for plus 1 attack. Um, precision blows, any 6s to hit, do mortal wounds instead. She's got two five-woman witch squads and another squad of Incubi, so I fill out everything at 2,000 points on the nose. Should be a pretty cool game. Uh, a little bit of speed, a little bit of fun. Oh, I did remember the relic, sorry. 
I knew I was forgetting something. My Archon is carrying the Animus Vitae Grenade, so I can bump up my power from pain when I throw that, as long as I hit somebody with it. Um, might help, might not, with the Harlequins. Might not have to be that fast. We'll have to see, because they're coming at me. So, we'll be back for the deployment zones in just a second. Ladies and gentlemen, we've arrived on this planet. This is clearly an Imperium world. There has been some war, there has been some ruins left behind. And now the Drukhari have come looking for slaves. And what did we find? We found the silly laughing Harlequins. And uh, now we're angry. We just don't like them. So we're going to take them prisoners. That's what we're going to do. Roll up mission number 12, Scorched Earth. So you've got, it's kind of a fun, you've got three objectives sort of on each end of the board is the way this kind of works out. And then uh, we got the Harlequins all deployed out here. So it's bikes, 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 bikes. Then you've got a Star Weaver, Star Weaver, and a Star Weaver. This one has the Warlord, you said? Yes. The green one? Yeah. And then there's a Troop Master in that back the yellow one. Yellow and red one? Yellow and red. And this one has who? The Shadow Seer. All right. And then you've got a squad of Troop on the ground. Is that right? A squad of Troop on the ground. Death with Jester Death Jester and Solitaire. And the Solitaire back there. Very nice, very nice. Then on um, my side of the board, we've got a boat that has a succubus, witches, and incubi. We've got Drezar, incubi, and witches. Some cabalites sitting on that point. This boat has the liquefier guns and the um, archon. And then there's some more cabalites, some grotesques sitting here, and then the goat, the goat, the goat hits the boat <laughs> with the homunculus. Uh, he's got some homoxites and um, Incubi with him, which means I think I forgot to put down a squad of Brats. Is that correct? Have I fooled myself? I think I did. I think I need to throw a squad of Brats on the board. Awkward! Well, we're gonna have a roll off to see who goes first, and then I shall um, quickly find my Rats and put them onto the table. Go ahead, sir. Hacha! A oh, six! That's, that's, that's not good. Oh, oh, it's a one! I oh. really, really didn't want to go first at all. So I'm gonna add my racks that I left off the table, and he's gonna go first, so we'll be back in a second for the Harlequins, turn one. Okie dokie, the Harlequins have laughed their way to a promising beginning. Um, over here, we didn't advance, just got this well, no, they advanced. Huh? They advanced. Yeah, that, that's what I was saying. They got an advance, so they got into this half, right, or quarter, so this gets engaged on all fronts. Um, these guys moved up, move forward, move forward, uh, a bunch of people hopped up into the building, like the Death Jester, and tried to do nasty shenanigans, um, and then this back squad over here also advanced, ended up, because of movement, just shy of getting the engage over there, I was very close, um, but this boat exploded, well it didn't explode, it died. I lost a witch getting out, and then he just barely had, well, we were realizing, because there's a hole down here in this wall, uh, had line of sight from that one back squad right there, and he shot and killed my witches, so I used to have a little squad of four. They're all gone now. <sighs> what can you do? Um, that boat's okay. These guys are okay. This boat was also killed. I forgot to put a little boom down there, and I lost one dude getting out. There's only four people inside the boat. That's the risk of putting small numbers of people in. Uh, it did take basically everything in the center of the board to kill the boat so i was happy about that because the minus one shooting and she just wes has just rolled really bad on his numbers of d6 shots not bad subpar below average yes, it was below average it wasn't bad bad uh and then he tried to snipe my dude with his death gesture but that minus one to shoot through this you know dense stuff right here it really messed him up he rolled a two and then he cp re-rolled it into a two so that hurt his death gesture and then back here everybody was okay no issues um, yeah, so he picks up two for engage on all fronts. I forgot to show you the secondaries. So this is what we both took engage. Um, I have assassinate and no prisoners because bikes do count on no prisoners. He has engage, you can run him down, which killing three units is a good start for him on that one. And then uh, psychic interrogation. He couldn't score that one yet because the shadow seer is inside the yellow and grayish star weaver over there. Um, yeah, that's it. So, he killed a few things, definitely, and uh, it is now my turn to try to do something in retaliation. Oh, I lost some command points because, remember, I said I forgot to put rats. Well, I also left my ravagers off the board, so I spent the command points to webway portal them because that's three command points to put two units in the webway. Shame on me for being an idiot. 
Um, but now I've got two Ravagers with triple disintegrator cannons coming in from the webway. So that might end up being good. Who knows? Who knows? But that was a big oof. We'll be back for my turn two, uh, turn one, excuse me, next. It is the end of the Drukari turn one. So my grotesques, they move through the building over this way, made a nice charge, got a lot of distance to get around behind this guy. We killed these guys, both of them, but he used a command reroll and he saved one. I was so sad. So this guy's alive with a wound. Um, over here, the Incubi only killed one bike, and yeah, they, they only killed the one because he made, you know, four ups are nice, and the Homunculus, oh, actually, they only took the one guy to one wound left, that's mm -hmm. what it was. Homunculus finished him with an Anchor Injector, and then did another wound over here with his little rackety rack blades. So that was this side of the board. Um, I did do some shooting, but you wouldn't have known because none of it was effective. Four up saves everywhere. Um, so that was fun. My two grotesques. They came up here, they flamered these guys. I think I took a guy to two wounds. Like, I think I took one wound off of him with a flamer. Liquifiers? No. Might not have. No, no, no. He was, he had the wound from something else. Oh, okay. So then, I made a nice charge. So my rack, my grotesque, sorry, they made it in here. I, they just have their flesh gauntlets. I killed two dudes with flesh gauntlets and dropped this guy to one wound remaining. Uh, it was a rather phenomenal roll. It was startling, but it was good. And then... That guy hit back and killed the one grotesque. Uh, with his um, standing back up on fours, he took this guy down to one wound, and then the last guy hitting back actually killed that grotesque and gave a wound to that one. Um, so that was pretty, yeah. His fighting back actually came in pretty big in a few places. It was pretty cool. Um, over here, made a charge with the witches because they were just right next door. So they came up here, took the objective. Uh, we killed one bike. This guy is fine. Um, I lost a witch on the fight back. The succubus over here, she charged with precision blows. She just straight up killed them on her hit rolls. It was fabulous. I did 10, ten mortal wounds. Yeah. I'm going to resume right here where we left off. She did mortal wounds, killed all three of the bikes, uh, and the incubi didn't get to do anything. They just sat there and looked sad. Um, and the shooting over here, again, it did nothing. We shot at the green boat a couple times, but to no avail. Um, this boat, I disembarked everybody, that's where all of that fun came from over there. And then the Archon jumped in and the regular racks jumped in and we moved here. That was it. That's it. That was the end of my turn. Uh, I did score three for engaging on all fronts. Um, Wesley picked up three for grinding down because the silly things wouldn't die. One wound here, one wound there, one wound here. It's very frustrating. And uh, no psychic interrogation. So that's the end of battle round one. We'll be back for Harlequin's turn two, next. The Harlequin's turn two has ended. Here's what we've done. These guys are all okay over here. Everybody here ran that direction, did some charging, did some shooting. The end result was in melee, this boat died. I lost a rat getting out and that's where they are. Over here, coming through the building, flipping around and running and Mr. Solitaire with his insanity. Um, we actually started combat on that side of the board because we had a warlord behind a rock trying to take down my warlord who's behind a rock and of course I get to hit first because she's cold to stripe. So he wisely started there. So then I interrupted over here. My grotesque killed this man. The solitaire is horrific with Chigarette's Rose. But he spent the one command point to save or to reroll and he survived. And I was very sad because then he proceeded to kill all of my grotesques. It did come down to my last Feel no pain roll on the last damage inflicted before they all died, but he killed them by himself. They just piled in, stepped on the objective, there's more of them than there are me. Pretty disappointed about that. But what can you do? Um, over here, charges, charges, they fought, they killed. They did do a lot of shooting before they did the killing, but they did. Over here, the drive-by into the grotesque, poor guy, didn't have much of a chance. He died real quick. Lots of stuff piled out on this side of the board. Here's the skulls from the mighty fight. So my succubus actually survived the solitaire. I mean, troop master. I was very proud of her. She then pulverized him with immortal wounds. He then struck back on death. It's very rude. So he used his shooting attack. He hit her and he melted her in the face with his fusion thing and she failed to save and I had no CP so she died. I was kind of disappointed, but there you go. So the two warlords have gone at it. They're dead. Witches died because they got shot at. This troop came in and the tormentors tormented them and made them go last. I killed all but one. 
with my Incubi. They, I think, shot and killed one, right? If that's what I remember, yeah. So they rolled, they got one, at least one attack got to go back. Shot and killed him with like six damage. Um, so he was real, real dead. Or four, or something like that. But it was it was enough. And then the last guy ran away. And with this cool little rule for Harlequins, while you're running away, you can roll in on a four. You still get to shoot again. Kind of dumb. Made me so sad. But fortunately, he didn't do the wounding. Um, but that was impressive. Over here, we did some melee and some shooting. This boat survived with a single wound, so Drezlar and his Incubi compatriots are inside, and they're all, I guess, happy. I don't know. Um, and these Incubi survived the charge because he rolled a four. Needed a little farther than that. That's the end of it. It's been kind of a wild ride. He definitely scored Grindin down last turn. This time he's killed four, five. I've got one on my belt because it does count for that uh, dude that ran away. So if I can kill four of his units in this turn, then I'm golden and I will prevent his grinding down. I don't know if that's really feasible, but I'm sure gonna try. Um, so this is wild. It's turn two, going into Drukari turn two, and both of our armies are out. Both of us have gotten around and charged into things and lots of killing is happening and it's spicy everywhere. Um, we'll be back at the end of this turn and we'll see what's left after the Drukari turn two. Here we are, folks, at the end of Drukari turn two, and as predicted, turn two and turn three will probably end this game because that's just how deadly both these armies are. So over here, Incubi. Oh, I, no, I didn't lose enough to fail there. So um, we charged a bunch of stuff. I made this guy fight last. I shot and killed him, by the way. He re-rolled another failed save and stayed alive again. My splinter pistol did what it was supposed to do, except it didn't. But then I used my Icar Injector and it killed him. I killed him good. And then, of course, he rolled a four and he hit me. Yeah, he hit me and took two. I, I took two of the three wounds. I, I shrugged one. Uh, the Moxites and Incubi combined killed the troop. Um, back here, because I was a peanut and forgot and had to put these in the webway, it actually worked out okay, except they couldn't do jack squat shooting. This guy, all nine shots into this guy. I didn't do anything. He, he hit him and wounded only two times. It was embarrassing. And then he saved those. Um, so that was cute. Then over here, my Cabalites shot and killed. Uh, well, we split fire. The splinter rifles killed this bike. The blaster killed this bike. This homunculus got his blast pistol through and then failed the wound. And I totally forgot. I need to use needed to use the Animus Vitae instead. And then I would have been hitting everybody on twos in combat with my cool power from pain being buffed up. I whiffed, forgot to do it, used the blast pistol instead, and as a result, we didn't kill very much over here. I thought my racks would have a decent chance uh, re-rolling wounds because of that, but I whiffed on four of the hits, I think, I rolled twos, which would have been good if I'd been paying attention. Shame on me. Um, as it was, killed a few things there. Over here. Drezar, Incubi, we get out. These Incubi came over and charged into the guys that were here. Drezar came this way and charged into this dude. The Cabalite Warriors were supposed to kill this one, and then Drezar could have landed his aid over there. Didn't work out that way. He survived. Only took one wound. Drezar killed him. Incubi killed them. Um, this guy was able to move forward with his pylon towards the closest enemy unit. So I took the objective, because that's cheeky. Shadow Seer is fine, but all these little skulls represent the troop that died to my Incubi. And these two big black skulls, his last remaining troop ran away bravely on a six. My Incubi ran away bravely on a six. And my last Incubi, because I had two left, ran away on a one. So I rolled the exact things you don't want to roll when you're doing combat attrition. It was very horrible. This Ravager came in and shot everything at this guy and knocked him down two wounds. That's it. It was really bad. Like, the shooting from the Ravagers was atrocious. Um, and of course the four up in saves helped, but it's, that's not the point. It was, they both missed almost half their shots. Um, that's the end of the turn. So that's the end of the turn. It's the end of the battle round. Um, yeah, that was, that, was, that was pretty rough. He does still have five troops sitting comfortably inside this, um, but everything else is what you see. And um, yeah, it's, it's a little nasty. So I picked up a couple of assassinate points. Um, my no prisoners tally is climbing, but we'll add that up later. And I was engaged in the three quarters again. And uh, you can see he got three for engage last turn. I denied grind them down. And he did psychically interrogate my witch, my succubus, before he killed her. 
So uh, good for him. We'll be back. Harlequins are going to laugh their way through turn three next. All right, folks, the Harlequins have laughed their way back. Um, this mess is exactly what you would expect. Fusion pistols and stuff killed the homunculus. Um, then they charged in and killed the racks. Almost didn't, but they, they did with their efforts combined. Incubi suffered some wounds and some losses. We killed quite a few in return, so we both made our morales this time. Nobody ran away over there. Over here, um, this boat flew over, sat on this objective, shot and killed three of my Catalyte warriors. They took two wounds off of him in return and did not fail morale, like the bosses they are. And over here, these bikes left combat, flew up to the top, then charged down into here, killed two dudes, we smacked back, did like a whole nothing over here. We did suffer one wound to shooting, um, so I put that on the Clavex and then he was okay. The Shadows here, done, killed my raider, that was cute. Uh, over here, oh, we didn't actually finish smacking each other with our boats because it was kind of a comical wet noodle sort of fight, but we'll do that in a second and we might have a wound or two removed, you'll see, who knows. But that's it. So uh, he did kill one unit, two units, three units. So he's got three, so I've got to try to do better than that in my turn uh, for grinding them down uh, or to keep him from scoring that. But he did get psychic interrogation again. Um, he is engaged on all the fronts again as well. So he'll get that again for this turn, and he only got five on primary that time. So that's how the cookie crumbles for right now. So we'll be back for Jukari turn three. All right, folks, this is the end of Drukari turn three. Drezar came over here to help. These Incubi came over here to uh, help the shadows here. Um, we've stayed in combat over here. I've dropped that down to another two wounds, I guess, in shooting. And so it has two left. Uh, we haven't rolled all the rest of this out, um, but the Incubi should kill her. Drezar should kill them. Over here, this combat's not quite so guaranteed um, because I don't have the Gin Blade or the uh, rerolling wounds, but eventually we would have whittled this down um, and the more importantly we're on objective secure here so we would have held that point this incubi made the last troop fight last and didn't kill it and then it got killed in return so that was embarrassing but my ravager over there flew into the building to see through the window shot and killed him did nothing to the just death jester and then charge into this boat over here. So what we ended up doing at the end of that is by the end of turn three, contesting those back two objectives should have killed and removed the Shadow Seer, which would have left Wes on a point. And then I have objective secure everywhere else. So there's not any way that he would have been able to come back in the points. So he went in and conceded at that point. Interestingly, at the end of turn three, it ended up 58 to 42, which was not that big of a spread in the points, um, but it just would have gotten worse from there. So. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Who's your uh, MVP? Oh. Your warlord trade, or your, uh, not warlord trade, but your chapter tactic thing? <laughs> yeah, I would say that. Just Smacking or shooting on fours after mm -hmm. something died was pretty big. He did a lot of work with that. I was really impressed. Yeah, I didn't like it, but it was very impressive. Yeah, if my shadows, if my uh, death jester would have been, it would have been him. But... Yeah, the death jester sadly didn't do anything in this game. Yeah, or it was saved against him, one or the other. Um, so yeah, there you go. It's been it was a fun game. Uh, this one a lot better um, than the first time we played because he did remember that fighting on death, and it was pretty saucy. Um, so there you go, folks. Hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, we'll say the Eldari one. Ha 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 ha. Um, that it was a victory for the both of us because we got to play a fun game. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Wes, for coming over and playing. And we'll catch you for the next one on Kitchen Table Wargaming.